wondering whether you'd come at all. Don't get up and don't act as if I were the Queen Mother. I don't expect you to be pleasant. I don't intend to be. Can't we sit down? Just for a moment. I've got a lot to say and none of it is easy. There can't be very much. But there is. And easy or not, I won't believe a word. Why shouldn't you? Please, sit down. You know, I've always considered myself a very clever girl. Smart, good head on my shoulders, that sort of thing. Never the wrong word at the wrong time. But then, I'd never met Addison DeWitt. I heard myself saying things I wasn't even thinking, as if my mind were, were outside of my body and I, I couldn't control what I did or said. And you felt just like that, talking to Addison? Well, in a way, you, you find yourself trying to, to say what you mean, and then the, the words change. They, they become his words. Do you expect me to believe that you said nothing and it was all Addison? No, I don't expect you to believe anything except that the, the responsibility is mine. And the disgrace. Let's not get over dramatic. You've really got a low opinion of me, haven't you? Well, I'll give you some pleasant news. I've been told off in no uncertain terms all over town. Miss Channing should be happy to hear that, to know how loyal her friends are, how much more loyal than she had the right to expect me to be. So, tell me, how did your um, lunch go with that man from Hollywood? Some vague promises of a test, that's all. If a particular part should come along, one of those things. But the raves about your performance. In understudies' performance. Well, I think you're painting the picture a little darker than it is, really. And if nothing else, you have a powerful friend in Addison. He's not my friend. You were my friends. He can help you. I'd wish I'd never met him. I'd like him to be dead. I want my friends back. Eve. Eve, I, I don't think you meant to cause any unhappiness, but you did. Perhaps more to yourself than anyone else. I'll never get over it. Yes, yes you will. You theater people always do. Nothing's forever in the theater. Love or hate, success or failure, whatever it is, it's here. It flares up, it burns hot, and then it's gone. I wish I could believe that. Just give yourself time. Don't worry too much about what people think. Believe if there's anything I can do. There is something. I think I know. Something most important that you can do. You want to play Cora? You want me to tell Lloyd I think you should play it? If you told him so, he'd give me the part he said he would. Don't you know that part was written for Margo? Oh, it could have been 15 years ago, but it's my part now. You talk just as Addison said you did. Cora is my part. You've got to tell Lloyd it's for me. I don't think anything in the world could get me to say that. Addison wants me to play it. Over my dead body. It's quite a story. Addison could make quite a thing of it. Imagine how snide and vicious he could get and still write nothing but the truth. I had a time persuading him. You'd better sit down. You'd look a bit wobbly. If I play Cora, Addison will never tell what happened, in or out of print. It's a, it's a simple exchange of favors. I'm so happy to be doing something for you at long last. But your friendship with Margot, your deep and close friendship, what would happen to it, do you think? If she knew the, 
The cheap trick. You'd played on her, Fern. My benefit. A part in a play. You do all this for a part in a play. I'd do much more for a part that good. 